What is up, guys? It's Nick from Mining Office, and I don't know if you guys can hear this horrendous sound. Let me get the mic in there. One second. So, yeah, that seems to be the fan hitting on something in my power supply. Uh, anyway, it's not good news. So this PC now shuts down every 12 hours, I would say. Um, I'm betting my money on the power supply in there. And like I said, the sound is unbearable. It would always make sort of a whining and a slight, very, very slight ticking sound. But now it's just, it's just gone crazy. So for any of those wondering, this is a EVGA 750 BQ. I've had this for years now, but it should still be in warranty. So I'm gonna try and RMA it. Um, this is why I don't recommend going with bronze power supplies. I mean, they are less efficient, but they're also built cheaper and is why they're less expensive. So what I plan on doing in this video is taking this spare RM850 watt I have, I'm gonna put it into my gaming PC and in there I have a 650 watt EVGA silver power supply, which I think I will swap in there. So kind of sucks, I'll have to get both these PCs offline for a bit, but that's the project for today. So it's really weird. Sometimes it stops and then it just goes ballistic. Just listen to it. It's it's ridiculous. I don't understand how it can make that sound and still be working okay. That's what blows my mind. So anyway. Sounds wonderful. Oh, and also while we're here, let's speak about this. These Zotac cards, okay? The Twin Edge OC ones, so this one and the other one I have in the rig, they also make squeaking sounds, and I know what it's from. I'll show you on this one, it's a bit easier. It's basically this piece here. So this piece is not secured whatsoever to the rest of the card. So at a certain fan frequency, basically most high fan speeds, anything above 70%, this thing gets a frequency going and rattles and just makes a squeaking sound. So the 3060 in here is worse, just that obviously you can't hear it, over this thing, which is grenading itself. This is absolutely ridiculous. I'm, I'm turning the computer off before this thing blows up. All right, so a change of plans. I found the receipt for this and it was purchased in 2019. So it's actually not as old as I thought it was. Um, so for it to go this early kind of sucks. I think I should be able to RMA it though. So considering that, uh, when I get this out of here, I'm not gonna swap it with that PC because ideally the RM850 has, you know, a lot of PCIe ports and I wanna use that for mining. So if they send me back another 750 or something similar, well, I'll actually use that in here and I'll swap it back once I get RMA'd. So I think that's what I'll do. And let me show you the culprit here. So again, this is the EVGA 750BQ. So yeah, we're gonna get it out of there, replaced. I'm gonna get all this stuff kind of dusted out uh, while I have the PC down. And yeah, hopefully it'll be up and running afterwards flawlessly. Every time I say that, stuff doesn't go right, but. Okay, so here she is, guys. Uh, I tried looking in, I don't see anything obviously wrong, but the sound says it all. So yeah, maybe this 750BQ is not the best model of power supply, but look, I already contacted EVGA. I gave them a call today. Uh, it was actually really good with the customer support. It was quick to talk to them, um, and you spoke to an actual person. They got me a ticket number really quickly so I could submit the RMA request for this, and it's already done, so I submitted it. Uh, they're gonna send me a new PSU. I'm gonna have to pay for it, and they also pay for the shipping back. Uh, once they receive this one in and confirm it is defective, uh, they'll reimburse me the full amount. So uh, that's pretty cool. I basically get a replacement power supply. And sometimes if they don't have one the same as this, they'll even give you a free upgrade. So I'm looking forward to seeing what they send me. Uh, actually, I'm just looking forward to getting a power supply back, uh, no matter what it is. And I'm just going to dust out the computer a little bit with that blower over there. Uh, get it cleaned out now that it's off and we have a few of the pieces out. And uh, yeah, then we'll slap that RM850 in there and hopefully get this up and running. And there we go. So it's replaced. I have the RM850 in there. I cleaned out the computer. You'd be surprised the amount of dust that gets accumulated in one of these. I took that blower. Oh my God, it was like a dust storm outside. So anyway, that's good to go. Uh, I plugged in everything. Oh, he's here to inspect again. What's going on? So anyway, I'm just leaving it open. I'm gonna test to make sure it works before closing everything back up. So let's switch the PSU on. 
And here's a moment of truth. Okay, it's starting off well. Let's check both of our GPUs. Yep, they seem to be spinning. And there we go. So perfect, we're posting. Okay, now that everything's working, I'm gonna close this back up like I was, put the front of the cover on and the back, which is, oh, there. Uh, you can see it's already a mess in here again. I just had the motherboard fail in this rig, got that fixed, and one week later, we're on to a PSU. So hopefully that should be it for hardware failures for the next good amount of time. I'm just glad it wasn't any graphics cards. That's the most important and most expensive piece. So you know what? I'll take it as long as it's not a graphics card failure. So I think that's it for today, guys. I'm going to get back to boxing this up for the RMA. Yeah, if not, that's it for today. I'll give you guys a shout when EVGA hooks me up with a new PSU. And at least I have both of these cards up and running. They're both dual mining, Ethan Raven. So downtime is expensive, guys. If you're miners, you know that. I don't have to tell you. So that's it. Just a short little update video today. I had to share my bad luck. So if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel. If not, have a great day. All of you guys take care and peace out to the next time.